Shalom, la b'chayarim, shol yasha Allah. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, and double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation to all sins, Rachim, that are lifting up the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. Of course, keeping their faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, which Yahweh is the true, almighty, and powerful name of Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai. The war ignorantly calls Jesus Christ and God. And Bahashem meaning in the name, Rechab meaning spirit, Kodash is holy. And to utter in the Paleo Hebrew and the Lashwan Kodash, which is the holy tongue, <coughs> the language that has been returned unto the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. And since our sea has been scattered amongst the four winds, all right, all the different countries. Our people may look like the heathen where they've been scattered to. But if their line goes back to a so-called Negro Latino Native American via their father, they are Hebrew Israelite. My brother Amapa from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in Great Babylon, coming again with another lesson of the Rechak Wadash. All right. So, we have here, off of the Journal Gazette, Cascade of Shutdown Problems Grows Each Week. And if you haven't been staying up to date within the news, the various news articles and such, you can see the fall of Great Babylon which is America, the virgin daughter of Babylon, in which this place is in a bloody shambles, as I've said before. You have it where a lot of confusion is going about, all right? But the men of Yahweh Shem Shai, the men of the Lord, they have the understanding of the times that we're in, right? Which we believe sincerely that we are the men of the Lord coming back in their reincarnation, in which we're coming back in the flesh, all right? So, I'm just going to hit some scriptures and hit, of course, this article and bring out edification so it reads here the partial government shutdown continues to set a ripple effects across government shuttering agencies and programs that are operating on leftover funds in imperiling others going into this world in word imperiling <clears throat> which it puts uh, at risk Harm, injured, or destroyed. Okay, because if you're going into those various reserve funds, when they run out, what do you do? You're in within the straits. Okay, you can't, of course, deliver the service. You can't even deliver the resources in which your particular program were set up to do, all right, to deliver. It says hundreds and thousands of federal employees missed paycheck, a paycheck on Friday, which is currently today, as of today, it is January the 14th. I'm doing this video at 1038. So last Friday, all right, this Friday that just passed, you had federal employees miss, you know, their their paycheck, okay? And it says, up in the stakes of a continual stalemate. It says, the Trump administration has taken steps aimed to alleviate the most wide-ranging political problematic effects of the shutdown, calling back unpaid IRS workers to process tax refunds 
and shorten or shoring up food stamps on temp a temporary basis. Now going into shoring, it says to hold something weak or unstable. And going on, and it says here that but deadlines are still imminent for several programs that could cease operations soon, which I had said and such. A lot of these uh, programs are running out of funding. They, of course, have to receive the funding from the federal government, being for various federal programs. And if they didn't receive it, they're going to be ceasing their operations, all right? Suspending their operations, all right? Below, we've collected a list of upcoming interruptions to government programs as well as those already slowed or shuttered. And it reads here that January 11, employees miss paychecks, which I just covered. It says some of the more than 800 Thousand federal employees affected by a shutdown missed their first paycheck. A post analyst found that half of these workers do not have a college ed education and 14% make less than five or fifty thousand dollars a year. Okay, so quickly, let me just go into this really quick. You have to know that there is a time and season for everything, and we're in a time and season of Mashapat judgment upon America. Quickly, this is Ecclesiasticus 3 and 1, and it reads To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the Shemayim or heaven that pertain to the waters. It says, A time to be born, a time to die. A time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. And it's, of course, being that time to break down and, of course, a time to build up being the men of the Lord, okay, that Bayatha would die is being built up, okay, the elect are receiving this word of life and receiving that, the the wah, which is the mark of exemption from the coming judgment, which is fastly uh, which is fastly approaching. All right, the time of Jacob trouble. All right, we're in the beginning stages of it. All right, as some bro brothers have been saying. All right, it says here that is a time to weep and a time to laugh and a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to. Cast away stones in a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. You know, all of that lovey dubby shite that's coming to naught, right, at this time, all right? Though, of course, you're going to have that time of, you know, where you're going to have uh, set a complete number of women embrace, you know, uh, and cleave unto a man of the Lord. That is going to be a hiding place from the wind. All right. The destruction. The coming destruction and such. All right. Embrace. Bahabariath in the Hebrew. It just means here to embrace or clasp. All right. You know, when you, when you embrace, you know, you're holding really tight. It says to hold closely in one's arms, especially as a sign of affection. All right. And it's a time for the men of the Lord to really cleave or debauch. All right. Onto their Lord yeah, in power. And of course, increase their faith. All right. And get right. All right. You Israelites, so called Negroes, are seeing the Americans better get right, you know, before. All of this, uh, these various benefits and programs, even your your safe jobs that you thought 
were, were going to be forever, they of course closed down, which is all biblical prophecy and such, all right, to occur, all right, there's going to be a time when they're, they're going to be jobs to go to, all right, this is going to be the book of First Thessalonians 5 and 1, and it reads, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, all right, and why is this going to it? This is going to be the book of Isaiah 48. And I'm going to go to the point 48 and 3. And it says, I have declared the former things from the beginning. And they went forth out of my mouth. And I showed them. I did them suddenly and they came to pass. And that's the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai speaking. All right. You know, he, of course, declared. You know, the for, the former things, all right, from the beginning, okay, all of these prophecies and such, you know, and then they went forth through his mouth, all right, and he showed them, all right, <clears throat> going into uh, this word for um, declared, which is Nagad in the Hebrew. All right, which is to tell or to make known, to announce, all right, in which he used what? His mouth, his prophets, all right, which has been speaking since hundred times, all right? You have to, of course, you could read that, I believe, I believe that's in the book of Hebrews. You can, of course, go and check into it, all right? Look it up, all right, but going on further, and it says here, I'm going to go down to verse 5. It says, I have even from the beginning declared it to, to thee before it came to pass. I showed thee, least thou should say, mine idol, ha, idol hath done them, and my graven image and my molten image hath commanded them. All right? Because it's all Yahweh, all right, who's written it, okay, and it's in his word, which is the Bible, all right? Procopha included, which, you know, the 1611 Bible includes the Procopha, all right, which has prophecies, all right, within it. And the so-called white men tried to, of course, with the Bible Destruction Group, take out, you know, this uh, Procopha because of its revealing of whom he is, all right, and various other prophecies, all right, of the end of the world, the end of this age, Going farther, this is Isaiah 47 and 6. It says, Thou hast heard, see all this, and will not ye declare it? I have showed thee new things from this time, even hidden things, and thou didn't not know them. They are created new, and not from the beginning, even before the day when thou heardest them not. Least thou should say, Behold, I knew them. Right. You know, so the Lord, of course, set all of the words, all right, down. All right. He told his prophets, all right, declared them, published them, all right. The God, what's that? Uh, yeah, the God in the Hebrew, all right, before um, when I went into the word for declared. Okay, all right. He told he told these things, all right. And now, of course, the new you're seeing them happening in this time, all right. So, going for back, it says, verse um, back to First Thessalonians five and one. It says, but the, of the times and seasons, brethren, I have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then certain destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And, and you know, it's going to come, you know, as a thief in the night to those that are within darkness, all right? Reading on, but ye brethren are not in darkness, 
all right we had the knowledge on was knowledge and understanding all right that that day should overtake you as a thief ye are children of awar or light hebrew word for light is awar all right and the children of the day when it's like it says we are not of the night nor of the darkness therefore let us not sleep as do others but let us watch and be sober all right which you know we are set up to be what watchmen to the whole house of israel okay and that's in the scriptures all right and being sober going back to the greek which is what's that nepho which it means Astrology to be temperate 35 25 nepho it means, of course, to be sober, to be calm, collected in spirit. That's why you see the men of the Lord totally, you know, um, calm, all right? You know, they're not in distress at this time. We're actually rejoicing seeing these prophecies come, all right, to pass. You know, many, of course, have, you know, um, looked to see this day, all right, come, and we're living in it. It says circumspect, knowing what's going on around you and such, all right? So, I want to go back to the article, and, and then I'm going to hit the rest of the scriptures and then close it. And it says here that we're on um, uh, Tuesday, Coast Guard members miss paychecks uh, while the Defense Department is funded. The Coast Guard receives funding from the Department of Homeland Security, which is shuttered. And 41,000 active duty Coast Guard members will miss their first paycheck. So you have those in the you know, so-called uh, a part of the military branch that missing uh, paychecks because they deem them not essential. All right. The Coast Guard, they, of course, you know, they uh, deal with, um, of course, apprehending so-called illegals. All right. In the, our shores and such. You know, but going on, it says a tip sheet has been published by the Coast Guard. You know, going back to Friday, it says federal courts resources depleted. All right. So you have that the federal courts, the national courts have used fees and other remaining funds to stay open during the, the, the shutdown. All right. And that's all the various taxes and the fees, you know, that you pay. All right. When you, of course, go to the, in the judicial system, it says, but they Warned that funding would run out Friday. All civil cases would be su suspended if the shutdown continues past that date. All right. You have it here on January the 25th. All right. This is quickly approaching. It says employees are this. Are, it says here employees miss another paycheck. It says some of 800 uh, federal employees are right, affected. By the short dune would miss a second paycheck, which they live paycheck to paycheck. It says January 28th, tax season begins. The IRS begins processing tax return. The White House directed the IRS, which has previously said it would not handle refunds during the short dune, to do just that. All right, so you know they receive a, a order from the White House to process. Okay, but we now know. If they're going to actually deliver the refunds, let me see. It says the decision could prevent an outcry from taxpayers over refunds, which that outcry is going to be insurrection. All right, or a um, uh, uh, you know, you have a sedition amongst men. All right, you read that in the book of Second Edges, I believe, either the 15th or 16th chapter. All right, um, you know. Going on, and it reads here at by the end of January, it says rural rent subsidies runs out, M uh, more housing contracts expire, science grants go unawarded. It says rent subsidies from the agriculture department run out for nearly 270,000 rural low, low income families. All right. Um, you got um also I'm gonna just skip down at the census stop. 
by the end of February, early or the end of late Jan or the late January to, or nearly or early February. The activities for this 2020 census stop, and you have it here that and they you know they have to of course receive uh you know funding. Um, and by the end of fr February, food stamps possibly run out, and the country's credit rating could be reconsidered. Housing vouchers r programs run out. So you're going to have a lot of people in straits and and uh, not knowing and very unclear of whether they're going to receive food, all right? It says it was unclear whether the food stamps would remain operational through February, but an administration announced it has the funds to keep the program open until March when funding is less certain. certain. Also, more than 2,500 2, grocers and retails are no longer accepting food stops because their SNAP licenses have been re renewed. So you have it there, you know, there, that's a bit of confusion. If you do have some uh, food stops, you may go to a very uh, a grocer and they may not accept it, all right? It says here that the shutdown could put the country's... Uh, AA AAA credit rating risk at at risk and extends to March and pushing debt ceilings fight back. Um, you know we know this place isn't straight economically. All right, already affected. Going down, you have it here. Federal office buildings, f affected agencies, national parks closed. Are on staff. Federal museums, zoo closed. Government contracts have stopped. Advanced federal law enforcement training stopped. Do not call registry. It says uh, uh, many federal research options stalled. New beer approvals. Immigration courts are significantly reduced. So you have it where people have their various cases. Okay, with um, them immigrations services all right there that that you know you're you're pending okay that's being left there at a stalemate it's until this you know the house of representatives in the senate pass a bill but that is approved by donald trump going in it says vehicle safety testing enforcement vehicle defect investigation so you have this all your various vehicle uh, um, you say inspection It says vehicle crash avoidance Research air traffic controller training And that of course The air traffic controllers They are federal employees working with uh, Without pay Alright I read of in Alaska They have uh, some of them Employees that are um, get Receiving pizza boxes You know from Actually Canadians Alright within a grassroots program, all right. You know, because of course they're working without pay. You know, n they having food. You know, money for to pay for food. You know, you have to deal deal with what. You know, some maybe some someone's a uh, friend's kindness. All right. It says, but we know that in the prophecies, it says that, you know, in his last days, the love of many shall wax cool. It says small business loans approved, stop. Most data on crime, sentencing, and prisons, all right, that's affected already. These are all the things, the agriculture statistics. So you have it where, you know, all of these various programs and, um, Various services are being affected, okay, and it's it's definitely affecting the gross uh, domestic product, which I've done a wee video on, just covered it a bit. So you know, I'm just going to go quickly to the point and close out really quick with my last scriptures. This is going to be the Book of Ecclesiastes and Apocrypha, chapter eleven and verse. 21 and it says marvel not at the works of sinners but trust in Yahweh by Shem Shai the Lord and abide in thy labor for it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on a sudden to make a poor man rich in which we of course will be in the midst of this economic struggle 
this economic collapse, all right? And we're within the the mix, all right, the mist of this current government shutdown in America, which is going to affect all of the nations, all right, which we have Brexit over there in the UK, all right? This is this affecting all economies, okay? You have the sanctions that Trump, Donald Trump placed upon you know, these various nations. That's still in effect, all right? So this is going to be catastrophic. It says the blessing of the Lord is the reward of the of the godly and suddenly he maketh his blessing to flourish all right i want to of course go down to a particular point which i had which is going to be in and verse 25 it says here I'm going to start here at verse 24. It says, Again, say not, I have enough and possess many things. And what evil or bad time shall I have hereafter? In the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. All right. Which affliction is I na. All right. Or flick to afflict in the Hebrew. All right. Which, of course, is to bow down, to make low. All right. To humble. It says, and in the day of affliction, all right, or ba, your wom, I know, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. And you have it where a lot of these these, these workers are, you know, they, they, they're losing hope, you know, because they don't have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, and they're not going to remember having. You know, those sweet times in sweet old America. Because sweet old America is going to be destroyed via ICBM missiles. And it's going to go out with a bang. All right. As you can see. Okay. Going down. It says, for it is an easy thing unto the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Shai in the day of Mawath or death to reward a man according to his ways. And there's a lot of judgment that's going out. It says the affliction of an hour maketh a man forget pleasure all right and these people are going hours days without food without pay without the funds to pay for their various bills okay they're crunching pennies you have it these edomites these uh you know the so-called white people all right you know he's heathen all right you know, you even have it two thirds of our people, you know, being a unable to pay their bills and such. All right. OK. It's set because, you know, they're not they're furloughed. OK. And they're working without pay. It says and in his end, his deeds shall be discovered. All right. And it's going to be discovered that they're wicked. All right. So. I'm just going to end off with that. Hopefully you're edified. Call Halayim. La Yehaw Bashim Ashai Bashim Rechakodash. As it says, that says, it says, Kaske of the shutdown problems grows each week. It's only going to get worse and worse as it goes on. This is the longest government shutdown in history. All right. I believe it's about going into, what, day 24 or 25. Shalom.